Hey, good morning guys. My name is Melad Milo aka Fula and I'm back to keep you posted on what's making headlines in Uganda right now. And if it's your first time on The Buzz UG, kindly subscribe to The Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, Ugandans, especially those that come from Buganda Kingdom, are demanding that their Kabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutebi should be taken for further treatment. Now, lately, Ugandans from uh, the central part of Uganda have camped on social media asking the Katikro of Buganda, Charles Peter Maiga, to come out and explain about their Kabaka's health condition, but Charles Peter Maiga has given them a deaf ear. Now, the latest public figure to come out is Omukunja, a media personality who is also saying enough is enough. It's high time Charles Peter Maiga come out and explain to Kabaka's people what's going on in regards to his health condition. Now, Omukunja questions that why would the Katikro of Buganda, Charles Peter Maiga, keep quiet when almost every Muganda on social media is talking about the same issue? あれでレバフ。困らないかばかはフォーウェブエル。カリベセンデゼトファリ。トワズワ。困らさらさじゃたこら。フェトコラ。ネトモラビリラ。カカティ。エンベラジャリモドアチタファイナボリラバナ。ア
Kwa kuwa damu langa tukwe size mune imbe mutebi kwa wabubuka. Chispidi kwa ukolele bindu. Ya inakuwa ya chivubuka. Ya inakuwa ya chivubuka. Tuli inaku zelela. Mpuli inaku kumutima. Mbuma. Mbuma. Mpuli inaku kumutima. Mbuma kwa mbuma kwa mbutu sebulu unji. Mbutu sebulu unji. Ochayo mbila. Soka. Soka. Well, there you go. That is Omukunja, and uh, he was in the studios of Beat FM having a chat with Amoti, the comedian, and the lady is their co-presenter. We hope that the Katikiro of Buganda, Charles Peter Maiga, this time around, will come out and explain what's going on in the Buganda Kingdom in regards to the Kabaka's health condition. Otherwise, personally, I think it's not good to keep silent when the people you're serving are demanding that something must be done. Well, in other news, uh, Uganda police says they have credible information indicating that a section of the public is planning to hold processions and assemblies as a way to express their discontent against the high commodity and fuel prices. Now, Fred Nanga, the spokesperson of Uganda police, says Ugandans should know that the surge in fuel and commodity prices is a global issue due to various reasons. And he emphasizes that they are ready to arrest everyone who is going to be involved in these unlawful processions. Our director of criminal intelligence working with uh, uh, other stakeholders have picked credible information on plans by selected groups and individuals to hold unlawful processions and assemblies as a way of expressing discontent against the surge in uh, commodity prices and fuel. Uh, these economic challenges the country is facing are also faced by other countries ac across the globe. There is global inflation. Therefore, those who want to use uh, the unlawful protests and assemblies as a cover to incite violence also disrupt other people's ri uh, rights like uh, uh, destroying and vandalizing properties, uh, uh, stealing from uh, market vendors on the roadsides, mugging pedestrians, will be stopped. We shall definitely stop them, arrest them, and have them prosecuted in courts of law. We have a country that has remained peaceful and calm for the last 18 months without encountering any violent protests and un arrests, unrests in the country. Therefore, all organizers who plan on to holding processions and assemblies are aware that they are reminded to notify the police about their planned meetings. <laughs> Well, there you go. That is Fred Nanka, the spokesperson of Uganda Police. And by the way, guys, let me tell you something. I have a feeling that even these police officers that are arresting people, time is coming when they will also join the common Ugandan in protesting against this high cost of living in Uganda. Because we are all affected the same way. Just that these police officers work on orders. That's why they pretend as if they are not seeing what's happening in our country. But trust me, uh, time is coming and you will see them join a common Ugandan on the streets. Anyway, uh, that's all I got to say about these two stories that I have for you this morning. And uh, in case you have any comment about them, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, if it's your first time right here and you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melod Milo, aka Fuller. Thank you. Thank you.